going to be a long night. We have always said this would be a razor thin election, and that's exactly what it is. We have the cities, but we don't have all the towns. We have the towns, but we don't have all the absentee ballots. If, if you ever doubted for one moment the power of a single vote, well, tonight should dispel that notion. Voting does matter. Every vote counts, and I promise you we will not quit until we know where every single one of these votes lives. We won't quit for lots of reasons. We won't quit because we've had an army of volunteers and families from Fort Kent to Kittery, from Eastport to Freiburg, who have stood up for equality. We won't quit because we have an incredible staff at the No One Left campaign. From the headquarters here in Portland, to our superstar field team, to the online team, to our fundraising team. And we won't quit because of the thousands of Mainers who gave us a volunteer shift, or talked to their neighbor, or told their brother to get off the couch and go pull the lever for no on one. So we'll be counting tonight and probably into tomorrow morning, as long as it takes, because we've had amazing friends. People who dug deep, or blogged, or jumped on a plane, or all of the above. Our New England neighbors came to Canvas, and buses from Massachusetts, and Subarus from Vermont, and a pickup truck from New Hampshire. And we won't quit because of the people of faith who stood with us to say that two people who love each other deserve the civil protections of marriage. And churchgoers like Yolanda Dumont of Lewiston stood up and said, what's good for some of my kids should be good for all of my kids. We won't stop counting tonight or tomorrow morning or as long as it takes because in the oldest state in the country, Philip Spooner stood with us. This 86-year-old veteran of Normandy Beach said, I fought for equality and there is no substitute. We'll stay here those of us on the No One One campaign, because I believe, we all believe, that the protections that come only with marriage should be conveyed not only to my wife and I, but to my friends and co-workers, some of whom have been together longer than I've been alive. People like Pat Peer, the matriarch of these battles going back to 1995. Look, Pat should be able to marry, marry her partner of 28 years here in the state of Maine. Or Jim Bishop and Steve Ryan, who have built a life together for 34 years should finally, finally be able to marry. And certainly someone like Mary Bonato, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe time and time again for all main families, should be able to marry her partner of 22 years here in the state of Maine, where she and Jennifer live and work and are raising their girls.
and we'll keep counting because while we understand that some people are still torn about this issue, we've got something to say to our opponents who would demean or attack our schools and our families. It has to stop. It must stop. And when this is over, it will finally stop in the state of Maine. We're not short timers. We're here for the long haul. And whether it's just all night and into the morning, or it's next week or next month or next year, we will be here. We'll be fighting. We'll be working. We will regroup. This is, this is about love and commitment and family. And so we'll stay the course. And I ask you to stay the course with us. Thanks so much. Thank <laughs> you.